This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Riat K2. This is an in-house design by Riat that came out uh, a few years ago when they came out with a whole series of, well, four knives that started with K. It was the K1, the K2, the K3, and the K4. They were all very unique in-house designs, uh, but to me, this was by far the most fetching. And um, I had to get it because of that blade shape. To me, this is one of the most beautiful Tanto blades out there. And Riot does a wonderful machine satin. And I was smitten when this came out and a bunch of videos on this knife came out. I had to get it. Now, it came in several different handles. Um, this is the most unique of all of them. There were two others that had um, just sort of a smooth contoured titanium handle with triangles um, in a row here that sort of emulated the cord wrap of a traditional Japanese knife. I originally wanted to get one of those and they were all out. Um, so I ended up getting this bronze version in sort of this dragon scale thing. That's kind of how I think of it. And I'm very happy I did. I've fallen in love with this handle and I think I like it more than the others. Uh, at this point. This is one of my favorite flippers. It has incredible action. And um, I went through a period of time where I was kind of selling off a lot of flippers. And this one I didn't even consider because the action is so superb. It's sort of, um, to me, uh, in my collection, if I were to get rid of all flippers, but to keep one for the action, it would most likely be this one. Riot's quality is insane. Uh, look at that centering. Riot's quality is insane, and um, their builds are incredible, you know, at least from my experience. And I am a sucker for this bronze here. All right, now I'm all over the place. Uh, I don't have too many Tantos, and one of the stipulations uh, for, for the Tantos I collect is that they have to have very unique blade shapes. And to me, this this fits that bill. You've got that beautiful long swedge up top, but it doesn't go all the way back. I don't like swedges that come all the way back to the handle because then you don't end up having this flat surface where you can put your thumb. You end up having a very narrow surface and it's not comfortable. So uh, I think they nailed it with this, uh, putting that fat bit here and jimping it. Um, it really makes it more comfortable to hold like this and to put your thumb on the back if you're going to use it for this kind of cutting. Uh, S35VN blade steel. You've got a hollow ground main straight portion here. Now, these all, uh, all these different portions of the Tanto blade have names, and I always forget them. They're sort of Japanese names. So you've got this nice hollow ground, very thinly hollow ground straight portion. And then up front, you have a flat ground um, tip, but you have a nice curve here, which I really like. So it's sort of half American Tanto, half traditional Japanese Tanto with that curve there. It's faceted like an American Tanto, but curved like a Japanese Tanto. And you've got that uh, sub, sub tip here, which is a very, well, sort of American Tanto style thing. Here's a cold steel American style uh, Tanto. This is the Recon 1 XL. And you see it's got that secondary point. Uh, on a traditional Japanese Tanto, it's more of a sweep. You get the straight and a sweep and no secondary point there usually. This knife has been out for a while, but if you go to knifejoker.com, um, they have a whole bunch of exclusives. If you like this design, go to Knife, jo uh, knife Joker. I almost said Knife Junkie. Knife Joker. Dot com and check out the different exclusives they have. They have some with fat carbon uh, handles and just all different sorts of handles, anodized and and such. And I think this is a beautiful uh, knife platform to do that on, just to riff on, because you look at that profile and it's, man, it's gorgeous. You could see how just changing some of the surface treatment could make uh, a whole bunch of different unique style knives. S35VN, you've got this sort of uh, faux um, stippling, well, it's it's stippling, it's real stippling, but it looks sort of like faux hammer marks uh, from the forge from whence this K2 
came. And then you have this sort of uh, dragon scale, which is very good for grip. When you hold it like this, your fingers kind of come all the way up around and grasp onto these um, vertical um, sort of relief cuts here. And it makes for a great grip. Now, a knife like this, it looks pretty tactical, you know, pretty... Um, what do I, I don't want to say tactical. I mean, I don't see a soldier running around with this, but it, it looks like a an assassin's knife or something like that. So you might want to carry this, hold it in reverse grip. And I got to say, in reverse grip, this is one of my favorites. Yes, you have this, oops, you have this jimping here, which is very nice. It's uh, aggressive enough, uh, but it's not going to shred you. But also you have this great pommel here with this sort of gear pattern jimping. And when it's in reverse grip, you really get a very, very nice grip with that thumb capping the top there. Uh, if you had to, you know, go into battle or whatever you would use, this, slam it into a 55-gallon drum to uh, cut it open and see what kind of weapons they're smuggling in. I'm referencing the Dogs of War at this point. And, uh, well, that's... Outstanding. All right, so I'm going to show you some comparisons. That's what I like to do. Uh, I'll show you some other Tanto blades that I think are outstanding. Uh, this just had a lot of uh, duty this past week. This is my road trip knife. Uh, it was my first knife with a glass breaker, so I, I take this on on me every time we go on a road trip because uh, I'm, I've always had quite an imagination, but now that I'm a father, uh, I've been a father for, you know, 10 years, 11 years, um, I always think of the worst. What's the worst thing that could happen? Uh, that's what happens when you have kids. You start thinking of all the horrible things that could happen. And to me, I always picture, um, you know, going off the road and being upside down in a car and having to cut ourselves out and break the glass and all that, uh, you know. So this is uh, why it's my, my road trip knife. But uh, these old SOCOM elites, this is from what, 2013, 2012, I think? 2012, almost 10 years old, this knife. I think these uh, older SOCOM elites have such an awesome Tanto blade. One of my favorites out there, that swedge and this clip here, and it's just a beautiful shape. If you ask me, which you haven't, but if you were to ask me, I would say it's even prettier than the current uh, Microtech Tanto blade. Let me know what you think, uh, especially if you agree. <laughs> Uh, another Tanto I love is this uh, ZT6, never remember the number, 620. It's a uh, an Ernest Emerson design. Now, with this black coating, it's a little bit hard to see, but this also has a clip and a beautiful swedge to it. And it's just a unique Tanto blade shape uh, that I love. So I keep these kind of in the same area because they're tantos and they're sort of evocative of one another for me um now let me show you show it to you with a ridiculous tanto one that i love but is ridiculous of course it's the medford praetorian an extremely sharp hollow point edge even though it's very shallow it doesn't look like it would be uh, good for cutting but this thing is awesome it has a kind of a steep and wide shoulder here at the top of the grind but it gets super thin behind the edge and is hollow ground here, flat up here, similar to the K2. Similar and different, just like Hollywood. Give me the same, but different. And then one last Tanto I'll show is the uh, Super CQC 15. Uh, you know, not very similar, but uh, you have that sort of aggressive point and the curves on this one are on the straightaway. So I'll put that there. Well. I'll take these off, actually, because I have a couple others I want to show you. And these are not Tantos. These are knives that I compare because they are high-end Chinese knives and have similarly amazing action. First is my other Riot. This is the Arcane Design Antimatter. And these two knives are just, just intense. I mean, look at the machine satin on these Riots. They really do a beautiful job on the machine ground satin. When I got this antimatter, I couldn't decide between the black and bronze or the, the satin and black. I went with the satin and black because I just wanted to gaze lovingly at this, uh, at these grind lines and at this beautiful machine satin that they do. 
by the way, this has similarly amazing action, which is good because you don't want to be, it's double-edged, you don't want to be uh, using the blade to close it, so you can just kind of drop it in. That uh, excellent bearing action helps there. Another great uh, Chinese production. This is the uh, Scorpion from Off Grid Knives. Great action. This is a Wii knife, uh, made by Wii knives, I should say. Uh, excellent, excellent uh, high end Chinese action on this. Also, you have a nice uh, run of jimping here, similar to this. Um, Oh, I wanted to show this Tanto, by the way. This is my oldest folding Tanto from 1998. I got this while working on a film in New York City. I decided, oh, I better I better get a new knife for this movie because who knows what kind of what kind of things I'm going to be called upon to cut in this movie. And well, I think I cut rope once with it. Um and then one last comparison on the Chinese high-end front is the Best Tech Malware. Similarly amazing action, whoops, and also a similar sort of finish. Even though it's black and not bronze, it's got that same sort of tumbled titanium finish. So this is the highlight of the show. This is the uh, the bell of the ball, if you will, and uh, I highly recommend this knife. I. I don't use it that much, um, but I do carry it when I want to carry a Tanto and when I want that fidget factor, that amazing opening and closing um, action. And well, I would highly recommend it. I think it's a very useful knife if you are going to put it to use because it's very thin behind the edge here. It's going to be slicey as all get out, uh, but also with this point reinforced with the uh, with the wedge-like flat grinds here. Uh, I think this knife is going to perform beautifully if you so choose to use it. I know, hashtag use your stuff. But uh, what do you know? What do you know? I'm just a, a weak man with a collection of knives. All right, that's enough of the self-deprecation for the day. Enjoy the Riot K2. And uh, well, if you like it and you like the design, trust in the fact that Riot built it beautifully. So uh, check out Knife Joker. All right, take care.